your number one news team covering the North. The Bahamas Tonight, Northern Edition. Welcome back. We are nearing the holiday season and a small event managing and decorating company is spreading holiday cheer through decor. Tonight, we feature a man who has a passion for decoration and has been in the business for the past 10 years. Rumiko Knowles reports. As we approach the season to be jolly, CEO of Bow Magic Donovan Bow is ensuring that the global pandemic does not dampen the spirit of Christmas. As it relates to his business, he says that the COVID-19 has allowed him to pivot from large scale to smaller intimate boutique style events. Decorations can transform any space. It can take you to a different location visually. It can take you to a different location emotionally. Colors evoke responses. So that's what we do with our decorations. We try to get persons to feel where it is that they're going. So particularly for Christmas season, everyone wants to feel joy. Everyone wants to be merry, bright, happy-go-lucky, that type of feeling. So that's, that's what we are aiming to eke out through our decor this year. His passion for decoration comes from his mother, godmother, and aunt, all of whom are deceased. He says they all worked in seasonal decor. Whether it was weddings, Valentine's, Christmas, Thanksgiving, and somehow they looped me in and got me involved. And it's basically a piece of my passion, something that they've left with me that I'm now building on to create a business venture. Bo also tells us the trend for this Christmas season. This year, we see the trend shifting back to the traditional red and green mixed with bold colors, vibrant colors. So red and green is the base and everyone's adding a, a pop of color. Um, I'll be focusing on the royal blue as a pop of color for this year with the red and green. Others are throwing in gold, uh, brighter mint green, lots of other turquoise, but red and green, we're sticking with that base. I think shifting to what we knew Christmas to be mm -hmm. after having to celebrate it so differently in the past. This 12-foot Christmas tree was decorated by Bo as a collaboration with the Home Fabric Store. He shares unique tips on how he designs and how he knows when it is complete. That's just it. I usually do a timer mm -hmm. and it would go and go and go. So I'm known for trying to cover the tree with as much as possible, but knowing when you're done, it's something on the inside. Because done for you, maybe not necessarily be done for me. The tree behind me, I think I could put at least a hundred more pieces on, on it. But someone will be like, oh, that's done. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's, it's relative. Romiko Knowles, ZNS Network News. A local security firm on the island announcing job opportunities for Grand Bahama residents. Strong Arm Security Company, one of the newest security firms on Grand Bahama, hosting a job fair recently. CEO Steve Wilson says their aim is to revolutionize security services on the island. Rather than you having to have two or three jobs, including a security job, just to make ends meet, I aim is to make security your only and main job that's going to suffice your whole soul. We had a steady flow of poisons looking for an opportunity for a new career or an ongoing career. Uh, services consist of private investigation, security guard, we do tracking, we do uh, camera installations, we are um, fine poisons, and the list goes on. Director at Strong Arm Security, Aleandra Thomas says, they are looking to employ about 65 to 75 persons and they are encouraging persons to apply. We just want to encourage more persons to come out and take advantage of this opportunity. Um, right now, coming out of Doreen and even the pandemic, a lot of persons aren't hiring and this is an opportunity to get a lot of persons employed. So I think you guys should get up and come on out and apply. A lot of the positions that are on the flyer, persons have been asking, do you need to be qualified? No. Even if you are qualified, when you come in, the company will train you so you can work to our standards. So you don't have to be qualified or get intimidated when you see the flyer. Just come with and apply. And apply for as much positions as you possibly can. And another question persons have been asking is, do we require everyone to be fully vaccinated? We would like you to be but it's not mandatory by our company that you be vaccinated. So if you are 
not vaccinated, still come out and apply. And now our Jay Philippe has a check on sports. Good evening, I'm Jay Philippe and welcome to Sports, where local sports is slowly returning to Grand Bahama. But we also have some international athletes that is making a name for themselves on the international scene. Chavez Fernando was drafted back in 2018 by the Detroit Tigers. This past season, he suited up for the Erie Seawolves in the AA League. But recently, the right-hand pitcher was activated for the Salt River Rafters in Arizona. The season's going good so far, man. I'm just... Happy um, here and playing against the best of the best competition. You know, first rounders, second rounders, top picks, top prospects for each team here. So it's just exciting to be here and play against these guys. In his last appearance on the mound, Fernando pitched eight innings and gave up only one run. We have seven guys from each team, creates a team, and uh, all the prospects go together. So I'm just happy that. I was thought about it and my team picked me to go there and perform and play. It means a lot and shows that I'm going to step in the right direction. Switching gears now, Gombe Splash Women's NCAA Tournament is set for November 23rd through the 28th in Bimini. The teams expected to compete is UNC Tar Heels, VCU and the University of Washington. Guess who's excited about the return of basketball? Pastor Apostle Gilbert Rhodes Sr. We are overly excited. People are rejoicing. We thought that the COVID would have shut everything down for good. But thanks be to God, they've given us that victory. We have been working diligently, preparing the gymnasium, preparing the yard, preparing for the people to come in. We have been doing a lot of renovating and a lot of work to the gymnasium to ensure that everything will be in place, that when the teams come, that there don't be no hiccups. We are so excited. We have protocols in place that will have uh, sanitizing stations and the bathrooms and in the hallways, in the locker rooms, all through. Amen. We have socially distant stickers all over the place. And so we want to be ensure that the players will be safe, the coaches will be safe, and the spectators will be safe. And so we are expecting a wonderful time. We are rejoicing that that Gombe Splash is back in Bimini. And finally in sports, Thursday night football tonight, Lamar Jackson and the Baltimore Ravens will take on the Miami Dolphins in Miami Gardens at the Hard Rock Stadium. And that's a quick check on sports. I'm Jay Philippe. Be blessed.